All right, so today when you're at home, you're going to be learning about a new saint. Um, doing our saint book is one of the things that you'll be doing lots of at home because it's just easier to keep your book at home. All right, so let's review who we've done so far. We have St. Teresa of Calcutta. She helped the poor and the sick in India, right? St. Mary was Jesus's mother. Oopsie. St. Matthew was one of Jesus's apostles, which meant his friends, his followers. And he told people about Jesus. And he wrote something called the gospel, the first gospel, according to Matthew. St. Jerome translated the Bible from one language to another. St. Francis loved God's creation, especially the animals. St. Faustina had a vision of Jesus. He appeared to her, right? St. Teresa of Avila suffered from terrible headaches and she prayed about it and God cured her. And she taught people all about prayer and helped people to be, be better at prayer. St. Luke... He wrote the story of when Jesus was born, and he also wrote a gospel, the gospel according to Luke. We've got St. Pope John Paul II. The Pope is the leader of the Catholic Church, and he loved the children and the youth. St. Therese of Lisieux, she's our special TK saint, and she said, every little thing that you do, you can do it for God. We've got St. Martin de Porres. He treated everyone with respect. People didn't like him because of the color of his skin, but that didn't let him, but that didn't stop him from doing great things. St. Francis Cabrini. She started orphanages in Italy, so we put two little children there. St. Margaret of Scotland. She was a princess, and she helped the king to change the laws of the court. St. Elizabeth of Hungary. She fed the poor and remember the story of the roses in the snow where the queen said, what do you have in your basket? You better not be going to help the poor. And she said, I have roses. And the bread that she had for the poor really turned into roses. And so today, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't do St. Cecilia. You were supposed to do that one day on your own. I didn't get to do mine. I should do mine. St. Cecilia, she loved music. And then today we've got St. Francis Xavier. It says, St. Francis Xavier enjoyed school and sports when he was young. He became a priest and established the Jesuit order of priests. He baptized people in India and Japan. And so we have a little bit about him in our little book here. It says, St. Francis Xavier is the patron saint of the missions. So a missionary is somebody who goes out into the world, into different parts of the world where the people, they might not know about God and they might not know about Jesus. And the missionary is a person who lives at the mission and teaches the people of the town or the community all about God, all about God's love, all about Jesus, all about heaven, all about the Bible stories. So St. Francis Xavier was a missionary. He was really great at many things. In Spain, when he was young, he was a great athlete. And an athlete is somebody who's really good at sports. He was a really good runner and a leader in his class at school. He was also a really good friend. However, you want to know the thing he was greatest at? He was greatest at loving God. When he was in college, he won so many prizes in school. And he met somebody named Ignatius Loyola. And they became lifelong friends. And Ignatius one day asked Francis, what good will it do if you win all the prizes in the world, but you lose your soul? So he's asking him, if you won every prize in the world and every trophy because you did so well, but you didn't love God, would that even matter? It wouldn't, right? Loving God is the most important, more important than any trophy you could ever win. And so he decided, send me out as a missionary. I want to teach people about the Lord. I will win the whole world for our Lord. And he spent his life preaching about Christ, which is teaching others and baptizing people of India and Japan. So there's some little children in India. 
that he taught them about God, he taught them about Jesus, and he baptized them. They became a member of the church. So, there he is. There we go. So today I'm going to let you color him however you want. Remember, some days we color him like I tell you to. Some days we color however we want. Today's going to be a however you want kind of day. All right? You can copy me too if you'd like. I noticed in the story that he had brown hair and a brown beard. So I'm gonna make sure I give him a brown head and a brown beard. Hmm. I'm going to make his cross brown also. So he's holding a cross because remember, what was his job? He was a missionary. A missionary goes out and teaches people that don't know about God and Jesus and God's love and how we can love God. Maybe one day you'll become a missionary. I'm gonna use crayons too, because I just like to. I like how it looks when I use crayons and markers. Decide what color you want to make his shoes. Hmm, maybe red shoes. And then you can, what else do we do? Do his letters for his name. Maybe I'll use blue. So we've got Saint Francis. Now we have another St. Francis. We have two other St. Francis's. St. Francis of Assisi. He helped the animals, right? And loved God's creation. And then there was also St. Francis Cabrini, who was a woman that started the orphanages for children in Italy. So Francis can be a man's name or a woman's name, a boy's name or a girl's name. Sometimes it's spelled with an I right here. Sometimes it's spelled with an E right there. There's two ways to spell Francis, and Francis can be a boy or a girl. All right, press pause if you need to finish.